Welcome to how to with Tim O'Donnell. Beautiful sunny day here down in South Florida. And today I'm going to chop down a tree and watch it land right on top of my shed. <laughs> what I got here is a mango tree. He hasn't been very happy. He's not fruiting good. I also got five other mango trees on my property. I don't know why this one's doing so bad, but I got a sneaking suspicion. He's basically right on top of my septic tank. He must be scared of my doo-doo. So I climbed up there like a monkey and I put a rope around him. Now I'm gonna tie that rope to the back of my pickup truck. In an earlier video, I told y'all that a tool makes a man. Well, I got something to admit to y'all today. Today, my tool is a works electric chainsaw that is not a tool and today i am not a man let's get this job started my only saving grace is my lovely assistant we're gonna get this rope tied to this truck put a little bit of tension on this here tree run it forward there darling head on head on head on Hold that. Actually, come on back about three feet. That's good right there. Now you need the proper geometry or geometry. I don't know which one it is, but you gotta reckon that tree right there is probably about 26 feet tall. And when I pull it over, I want it at least 26 feet away from this truck so it don't crush my truck and my shed at the same time. <laughs> All right, on my hitch here, I'm gonna tie me a double half hitch sheep shank bowling uh, uh, square knot. That ought to hold it. Now remember everybody, quality knots and quality rope is important. Let's put a little bit of tension on that tree. Go on a little bit, a little bit more. A little bit more. That's good right there. I'm going to plug in this powerful machine. Oh, failed the power. I'm going to put me a notch in this tree. Well, Dag Nabbit, everybody, I didn't mean to let you down, but the tree didn't fall on the shed like I wanted it to. Dang it. I was hoping to get some homeowner's insurance for a new daggum shed. Screwed up again. <laughs> There's my tree. There's my shed. Chucker went totally the wrong way. Well, mango wood is real good for smoking fish. So I'm gonna dry some of this stuff up, put it aside. Maybe that'll be a how-to down the road. <laughs> 